Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley preview, sneak peek, whatever we want to call it. Look who's here. In his part two, Phil Reelman is here with us. Man of the hour, too. How was that dinner last night, Phil? Good. I thought it was good. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, the presentation was awesome. Thank you. It was awesome. It was very Thank funny. You. I didn't stream it. I should have because uh, I think a lot of people really liked it. 30 years. Congratulations. Thank you. With uh, Hot Wheels and Mattel. Yep. That's quite the legacy. And we, uh, last time, six months ago, you introduced 143. Mm -hmm. Some other things as well. I don't remember if we talked Elite in the last one, but that's what we're doing today. We're going to be talking... 143, the update there on the 143 scale, and Elite. Those are your main responsibilities right now, right, yes. with, the, yep. with the lines. So should we start 143? Let's get the update sure. of what's coming. We've had, we've had the Lamborghini, the Corvette, the Jeep, and the what am I, Mustang, right? Mustang, yep. Correct. So why don't you talk through what we're looking at here? So we have the rest of 2023, which will come out a little bit after 2023. Um, we have the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Right here, over there. back. There, over back. perfect. There we go. Yeah, and right it's the uh, V-Spec 2 NUR. Yeah, the name uh, just continues. <laughs> um, so we, we have that and uh, you know, the, carrying on the tradition of die-cast, die-cast. We've got yeah. a lot of detail on the chassis and the interior and on the, you know, the, the deco and everything like that. I'm really happy with how this one's coming along. It's absolutely we got beautiful. the Nismo wheels, Millennium Jade green. So um, I think that Millennium yeah. Jade is going to be a, I mean, that's going to bring a lot of people to Target, right? That's where these are at, uh, yep. to buy these yep. up because it looks so cool. It's a beautiful color. Yeah, yeah. And it's a signature color, right, Jimmy? It is. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy does like this color. Yeah. Yes. I know, I know with these kind of cars, Jimmy's the guy I have to, I have to talk to. That looks fantastic. What um, else? Then we blew the budget on this one. Look at that. Put a little livery on there for you. The uh, Mercedes AMG GT3 Evo. No, I guess we <laughs> dropped the Evo. Um, anyways, you know, you know where I'm going. We, we, so, we know what we're looking at, yeah. Yeah. This is actually the livery that won at Spa, so uh, we replicated that. That's and awesome. And this is almost, both of these are almost there. They have a few minor tweaks okay. to the deco that, that, uh, need to happen, but uh, they're getting there. It's nice to see that racing livery on this one. It looks really, really good. Super clean. Yeah, race cars are great. Yeah. They, I mean, that, there's, that's how you can really show the quality of it, right? You yeah. got all this deco and everything to work with, and it's fun stuff. That's awesome. And it looks like we have some other stuff coming. Now, the Mustang we've seen, right? The Mustang was an elite, yep, and we blew it up. Oh! I didn't even put that together. I'm looking at a big version of that. Yes, you are. I was and, like, well, it's and, nice it's there, but we've already had it. I totally blanked. Yeah, you win. <laughs> you win that one. It was much smaller last time. Yes. So these are the first three. Okay. Uh, mix one of 2024. 2024. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the Mustang will again have the hood come off and have some engine oh, in there. How cool is that? And uh, pretty, pretty radical Mustang. If you like the first one, hopefully you like this one, too. One. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we've got that one coming. we got the 300 Mercedes. There we go. I'm pulling it apart. Uh, 300 SEL AMG 71. Right there. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. You can figure out the Mercedes. Cameras. Is that the red pig? Will that be the red yep. pig? Okay. Initially the red pig. Um, we will be doing it in silver first. Okay. Um, Beautiful. So the silver deco. Beautiful. No bumpers, all that stuff. That looks awesome. Oh, yeah. 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 We've got some nice chassis detail and some, some glue to glue it down to the board. Which we're all ripping up right now while we that. do this. <laughs> that's okay. This one's Ron. Ron is working on this one. Yep. The Porsche Hi, GT3 right. RS. Go down a little bit. Down, there, we there we go. go. There we go. So Ron made a cameo in the uh, in the RLC video, and so he's he's kind of getting his hands dirty all over the place, right? Oh yeah, we're keeping Ron busy. Good, yeah, just good. Help, just helping out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We figured we'd take advantage of him not having a car yet. So mm -hmm. now that he's got a car, we'll have to probably, you know, not use him as much on our stuff. But yeah, and he's like acting, he's acting we'll like the hero, that. like he's helping out. He's doing all the cars he wants to do, right? Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I get how that yeah. works. 
I get how that works. Those look fantastic. I, it's so funny. I totally blanked on the, on the Mustang. That's a big Mustang, not a little Mustang. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll show what's on the boards. That's the NFT. We're gonna, we'll talk about those in, later on. Or The NFTs are actually, that mix is coming out here, I think, here pretty soon. So I want to talk about the Elite 64. We've had Lamborghini. I, mean, I don't have to go through all of them, but we, you've got the next couple for this year, right? And then yep. Yep. what's coming up in the future. Some of these look fantastic. A little bit out of order here, but you yeah. got the Land Rover Discovery, right? Or Defender, I'm sorry. Happens. We'll talk about the Discovery later. Oh, um, tease. So this is this one Dima worked on, um, and it should be coming out very soon. Yeah. But very nicely detailed out off-road thing that I would love to toss around. around. Yeah, you're, uh, as we've made it very clear, you're, a, you're an off-roader. You're out there in your Jeep doing... All kinds of crazy things. Yep. Right? Yep. So, so so you would do that with this. Oh yeah. For sure. Yeah, this yeah. would be blessed. Love it. I love it. That's beautiful. And I, I think for people who are not familiar with Elite, it is just like the next level up from premium, right? In one sixty four from Hot Wheels. Yeah, I would say it's 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 similar in certain ways to RLC, but RLC's got your Spectra Flame, it's got the that uh, Hot Wheels DNA of Hot Wheelization. Sure. This is a little bit tr more true to um, scale and a little bit more true in the details are a little bit more finer and stuff like that um and that's what we strive for yeah uh, another thing with the elite is that they all have their own unique tires and wheels that's right that is so what that's, that's one of the bigger things to make sure so that we don't have the standard wheels that we use yeah. so and that uh, will be every time you build a new casting it's going to get its own wheels. it's good yeah. its own wheels yeah that's awesome so so that's what we've got. Well, let's see. You've got the Defender. Yep. What's after that? So next will come the Audi, I believe, okay. will be coming out, the A6. Um, and Mark worked on that one. Um, don't know too much about the A6. Um, not working on it too much myself, but maybe Jimmy knows a little bit more about it. Can throw a few things in there. You got a Jimmy it's cameo. RS7. RS7. <laughs> see, I don't even have the right darn car. <laughs> This. There we go. Wait a minute. Is it legal, right? Okay, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, it's, it's super cool. It's uh, the Nardo Gray. It, it's the Nardo Gray color. Um, and you'll see, you know, it's a, it's a really cool, like, Grand Roadster or um, Grand Touring car that we have. Uh, you'll see a little bit of camber on this one. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's very slight because we didn't want to go too aggressive with it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, overall, we've got the Put that on the turntable so they can see that. Yeah. And then uh, Mark actually worked, I think you said this already, but yeah. Mark worked on it. He um, exaggerated the front body kit. So the front cool. bumper actually looks uh, different than your uh, stock R RS7. Um, but yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. And so Mark, and so those, you know, Mark was working on that stuff and then... Yeah. Headed off into the sunset. Yeah. Retired. 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 Yeah. And Phil, you're taking over. Taking over and, yeah. uh, taking over you know, rings. trying to figure out what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Filling in all the pieces. There we go. All right, what do we have next? So we got the Defender, Audi. And then you have the Porsche 928 Safari, which is, came out of Dima's mind. Look at that. <laughs> and we've seen that in basic. Yep, yep. And he took it a little bit further here. I so, can see, yeah. Very nicely executed. Uh, yeah, it's all there. Very cool. Old safari. It'd be fun to drive. Uh, you, well, I, I know you would like driving that. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, I think the, the next one would be the Bugatti, right, Jimmy? Yeah. Uh, Further along. So, uh, Type 59, look at that. I think it is. You would know better than I would. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite that old. But it's nice old. to see this going way <laughs> back, yeah. Almost, but uh, yeah, no. Uh, very cool. You got a lot of little engine detail. This thing is so tiny. I mean, yeah. it's just like, it's a delicate. And if you look, I mean, if you pick it up and look at it, it's just. And this, wow. this, this actually has, the real car has sort of a, a, a silver disc with the spokes over it. Yeah. So, so we had, we've got these, they'll be all chrome, but it'll look very much like the real car, which people will probably think doesn't look quite right yeah. because they don't know what the real car looks like, but unless they know the car. 
But it's so they'll it's, go uh, look it up and they'll see it. They'll look it up and see it and realize, yeah. oh yeah, there is a, a little chrome pan underneath the spokes going on there. So look at that. Um, but yeah, a lot of those little teeny details and all the lightning holes and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know if anybody's ever looked deeply into Bugattis, but they're they will now. They, they are, they're amazing cars. Yeah, they are. They were just something else. So a removable hood and uh, very cool. I'm looking forward to that. That's one. an awesome, awesome car. You keep going. No, I, that's that's good. I will move, <laughs> move right on to the BMW. Let's if you talk want. about the BMW. Let's talk about the BMW. Because we're going from about one side of the thing to the other. I mean, the Bugatti all the way to the BMW wagon. And nobody could say it better than Brennan. So I'm going to pull Look Brennan over. He's still here. Unbe- yeah, unbe- unbeknownst He's to him. He is still here. All right, talk about this thing. So this is my first diving into Phil's world of Elite 164. So yeah. helping out with, with this one, this isn't. A three series, so it's the uh, three eighteen, but I made a Phantom M three wagon out of this. So wow. it's borrowing a little bit from the RLC, the M three casting yeah. that I worked on, making a station wagon version out of it. So we customize it, slam down. It's you know a little wing in the back, but it's got separate exhaust and all those things. But you know, me liking engine swaps and, and doing sure. the things that like hot rodders like to do. You can never this rest. Has, like that, I think it's the S46, so the E, um, the E46 M3 engine in there. Yeah. So it's not the four cylinder that would have come with the original M series and the three series. So yeah. it's it's that six cylinder swap. The other thing I wanted to do was something crazy, having the hood off of it. But there was some debate back and forth internally. Have the hood. Don't have the hood. So we have a removable hood, and that nice. is the compromise with that, so that. When there's no gum on there, you can put that on and then, of course, have the hood on. Is that magnetized? No, it's, it's a just, slight... That snapped I mean, in so easily. Yeah, there's little tabs here I with see. a very slight detent. So it's it's enough to set it on there and Got be it. on there, but you can remove it with, with ease and then see. Okay. have it off as well. So, And then, again, with the Elite uh, 64th, it has the side mirrors. The way they make the, in, the interior, like a folding panel on the side so you get more of the side details for the door panels and things like that than you would otherwise get with awesome. the standard molded interior. So hopefully everyone likes it. And, they will. Uh, I can, why am I speaking for everybody? I, I like it. Okay, so. well then. then <laughs> that's, all the, that's, that's all that matters, right? That's all that matters. matters. John likes that's it. That's all that set. matters, yeah. Well, that's awesome. So that's where we're at, but you've got a few things that are coming Fill in 24. Are these all 23? No. Are they? I have no idea. Uh, what year are we in? We're in 23. <laughs> <laughs> right? I hope no, so. Uh, most of these will actually be 24. Okay. Uh, except a few that will probably sneak into towards the end of the year. Late this year. Okay. All right. So we're, yeah, we're already well into 2024, but you have some stuff, Phil, that you are working on as well. Yes. We're, uh, we, should we show this one yet? Yeah. Yeah, but not the other ones. Not these guys? <laughs> <laughs> I am keeping this in so that they can know, like, oh, what is else is out there? I'm keeping this in. Like, it's always fun to know, like, there's stuff you just write. If I just pan the camera okay, slightly. You, you can show the taco. Uh, show the taco? Show the taco. All right. Taco. Okay. Well, let's start with what you have in your hand. All right. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Dotson 280ZX. Oh, look at that. And again, Mark started this guy. Um, kind of hard to see maybe on camera, but you've got the cambered wheels. Look at that. Yeah, and, I love it. you know, the usual um, elite treatment. Um, this one is almost there. It's got some more tooling work to do to it. Are we going to see it in this? Is it coming in white? Is that what it's, how it'll debut? TBD. Okay. I'm TBD. Just gonna... TBD. TBD. <laughs> Hey, I'm always going to ask, because sometimes I get the answer. Yeah. I, I, I've seen the e-sheet. It's cool. That's okay. all I can tell you. Okay. Well, I thought, I didn't know if it was just plain white, which is cool, too, you know? Yeah. I just shut well, the whole room up. We're all taking the fifth. Okay. Okay. So. Is it probably because it's going to have my face on the It doesn't even have the legal on it yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's still early, early. Very, very early. Okay. Now, let's so. show the... Uh, the one that you're allowed to show. So this may look like two trucks. It is essentially one truck, but we have two samples of one truck. Um, so this will come, uh, it, it's, it comes with interchangeable parts. So you can have it stock 
or you can start adding your overlanding accessories wow. to it. And you have some options. You can do the bed rack or you can do the cap. I know a lot of guys start with a bed rack and then they realize everything is filthy by halfway through their trip, <laughs> yeah. so they go to a cap. Yep. Um, it's not as cool as the bed rack, but you know, it helps keep things clean um, to some degree. So you've got the different racks and stuff and, and uh, some, some of these parts are glued on here. I'm not sure why they did that, but they did it. Um, so this, you know, will snap on and off. I right. managed okay. to use the uh, sunroof to snap this guy on. That's so cool. I tried wow. to keep this not getting toyetic, right? So tried to keep the pins small. Everything's kind of delicate and, and um, you know, keep it, still keep it in that elite vein. Got so it. it. Feels really authentic and real and all that kind of stuff. So, but you got custom bumpers, you've got spare tire swings and gas can swings and custom bumpers. Look at and all that. And all of that the, stuff's removable. It's all removable. You got the, the bed, the top roof rack, rooftop bed, see if I can say it. Yeah. Um, the recovery boards and the awning and all, the, all that snorkel. You've got the mirror can come out and you can pop in the other mirror and snorkel. Oh my gosh. So, um, cause you know, aftermarket wheels, nice chassis detail. Yeah. That's going to be super fun. Yeah. That's going to be really fun. I think I can, I can anticipate. I know a lot of people love Tacoma and then you're doing that. So yeah, that's going to be super yeah. cool. And then I won't say anything about that other one over that, uh, over to the side. So, Hey, this is awesome. I think there's a lot to be excited about with uh, Elite 64 and with 143. I just know that Skyline's going to get gobbled up for sure. And, I, and the Mercedes is just a beautiful race car. I mean, it's really cool to watch these others develop. So, Phil, one thing, do you want to talk quickly about your car that you, like at least the casting? I know we don't have the dinner car, but we do have the RLC. I didn't even think about that. But you might want to talk to that casting real quick considering... It was uh, it was released last night. You can speak to the RLC if you want to, real quick. Okay, so this is the RLC version that will be coming out. Um, the the dinner car was a, a different decoration, of course. Yeah. Um, but this was the concept behind this. Uh, it's a '68 Barracuda, and the concept was, you know, I have a '68 notchback Barracuda, and if money was no object. What would I do to it? You know, so. And it's this. And is this, you know. <clears throat> Wide body out with flares, spoiler, splitter on the front, some driving lights on the front, and maybe a thousand horsepower yeah. health and any <laughs> in there because you need that to drive on the 405 exactly. at five miles an hour. Exactly. So, um, yeah, and then custom exhaust, sort of inspired by the old AR Cudas and Challenger TAs yeah. and uh, out, out in front of the rear tire. Um, so, yeah, I had a lot yes. of fun with this one. and. This car is actually, I've done it before in basics, and it's very car, it's a challenging car to do in sure. the scale, just the, the, the details and stuff. So I really put in a lot of effort in that front end to try to get in that front end right. And it, That's the thing that I noticed. I, I have to open it up still, but I noticed the front end is yeah. spot on. Yeah, so it's, um, and part of that was doing the grill separate and sliding those in from behind, which, of course, they didn't want to do. Right. And then see if I can get <laughs> it open. Without we all know it. we all know the same technique of how to open the yeah, yeah. hood on a diecast car. But if you tried the knee, <laughs> it's yeah, I heard it's it. so hard it shut yeah. itself. Well, maybe you don't want to see the engine. I, yeah, no one does. No one ever cares about that. I'm kidding. There we there go. There we go. There we go. It's just being obstinate there. But yeah, there's that Helfant motor in there. That is so cool. Here, I'll pull it back just a tad. I want to get it in focus. There you go. Move it into the center right there. There we go. Leave it right there. And I'll put it in the on the turntable too. Yeah, that is really, really cool. Yep, and this particular deco was done by Andreas, of course. And uh, did an excellent job. What's up, man? Hey. <laughs> There's your cameo. Hey. We, we'll talk more about your stuff in a cool. bit. That's awesome. Yeah, so... A beautiful new color. This is a new color, right? Yeah, brand, yep. new. brand really? new color. Really? Never done that. So we've not seen... Oh, that's cool to know. So this is a Spectre Flame we haven't seen before. 
That's beautiful. Yeah, Phil was very gracious to let me pick this blue because we were we were looking at different options and that one was one of the best ones we saw. So. It's awesome. Yeah. That is cool. really pretty. All right, I think we've done our due diligence. We got a lot you're working on. We'll let you get back to work. Okay. Because we want good. we want to see these soon. So so get yeah. to it. So. Get to it. We really appreciate you joining us, letting talking through this. Hopefully everybody uh, enjoyed uh, hearing all of your. I always like hearing your insights on this. So if you're up for it, we'll do it again. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Phil. All right. Bye. Bye.